Hey, I'm Chris with Motion Worship, and today I'm going to show you how to shorten a countdown video in your presentation software. So in this video specifically, I'm going to be talking about how to shorten an existing countdown video. I'm actually going to be taking a five minute countdown video from the Motion Worship website, and then we're just going to shorten it down to a few minutes. This technique will not work for lengthening a countdown because that would involve creating a custom timer. I'll do that in a separate video, but for this one specifically, I'm just going to be talking about how to shorten an existing countdown video. I'd also like to add that I'll be doing this in ProPresenter 7, but the same techniques should translate in any presentation software. You'll just need to poke around to find these specific settings. All right, so we're in ProPresenter 7. I'm going to go down to my media bin here, and I'm going to create a new playlist, and I'll just call it Countdowns. And then I'm going down to this plus button here from Finder and I'm going to pull in a countdown video. So this video right here we can see is five minutes and eight seconds with all the fade ins and fade outs. And we want to change this, let's say, to be a three minute countdown video. So what we would do is we would right click on it, go to Inspector. And then under Inspector, this is your timeline down here and we can kind of scrub through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this to be a couple seconds longer than three minutes and I'll hit play there. And we're gonna stop this right at 301 there. The reason for that is when we hit play on this video and it fades in, it'll fade in by the time that it hits the three minute marker instead of 259. So I always just leave one second extra there. But anyways, we have this here and now we're just gonna hit the in button and that's gonna set the in to where the playhead is. So now this video is only gonna be about three minutes and however many seconds. A couple other things to note while you're in the inspector is going to properties and currently the playback behavior is set to loop. Obviously we don't want our countdown to loop so we're gonna select stop instead. And then we're gonna go over to the audio tab and we're gonna turn on a fade in and we're gonna drag that over to three seconds. That's just gonna fade the audio in because at three minutes in this countdown video, since there's already music playing, it would be a pretty harsh transition to just hit play on the thing and have it start harsh on three minutes. So we're adding an audio transition there just to fade it in over a couple seconds. So now we look down here and we see this is three minutes and eight seconds long, so that's great. So now to add this to a presentation, we're gonna go to, you can add it to whatever library you'd like or create a new one. I'm just gonna keep it in the announcements one for now. We'll go down here and we'll create a new presentation and we'll call this countdown, create a new one. And then we're just gonna drag this countdown onto the slide. So now if we hit this countdown, you'll see the audio is bouncing here, but we're not seeing the countdown video. And that's because I had this announcement slideshow playing in the background, which you would most likely have before your church service. And the reason is that this announcement slideshow is on the announcement layer. And when you're triggering a countdown video on a slide, this is a media item, which is one of the bottom layers. So this is actually playing underneath here. So if I manually turn this off, that is our countdown video playing in the background. I think that's pretty finicky and there's a really quick way to add automation to it so that it automatically does that. We can right click on our countdown here and go down to add action, clear and announcement. And that is going to clear the announcement layer. So all of our layers that are on the side here under add action and clear, you can select whatever layers you want it to clear when this video is triggered. So right now we have the announcement layer that will automatically get stopped and these are all on the announcement layer. So if these are playing and then we go to our countdown and now we play it, it's going to immediately clear that and fade in our countdown. And you also notice the reason that I started the video at 301 instead of three minutes, it's a super subtle detail, but it's because when we transition from the announcement to this video, it takes a second to fade in and then it fades in right at three minutes instead of two minutes and 59 seconds. Super subtle detail, doesn't matter all that much, but I think it's just a nice touch to add. And that's gonna be it for this tutorial. That is how to shorten a countdown video in ProPresenter 7. 